So I'm going to show how to, with a roll of tape, a hammer, like a large hammer, a little hook, this key here, a nut, a scale, how I calibrate a torque wrench. I have like a small torque wrench here. And because of the physics in this, we are going to do this in metric dimensions. Oh, so don't be scared. I explain this quick. So to make this as simple as possible, I would say we're going to measure the weight of the hammer first on this scale. Let's zero this thing out. And then we put the hammer on it and see how much that weighs. And uh, we look at the number in there, and it would be uh, grams, in this case 2,114, I think. And uh, the next step is we are going to see with what force, with what weight, the handle of this torque wrench is pulling down. So I don't want to weigh the whole torque wrench, I just want to see at the end of the torque wrench how much force is there, how much is it pulling down. And so we're going like 139 is where it stabilizes the best. 139 grams, right? metric, don't forget. That makes everything easier here. Then we measure the length of this. So there's a little white dot at the end. Let me turn that thing around there. So we measure from the center where it turns to that white dot. And we memorize that number there. Right? And then I take my little axis here. Tighten that up quick so that it doesn't move. And then we are going to look at the torque wrench. This thing will go in here <coughs> like 90 degrees, like that. There. And then we hang the weight on there. Right, so we have the torque wrench there. And it's spinning around the red dot with a force in Newton of 0 0.139 kilograms. Okay, we also have the mass of the hammer. That hammer had a weight of 2124 kilograms. Okay, so we know the weight of the handle and the weight of the hammer. We add this together and so we know both how much they pull down. We multiply this with the gravitational force, the 9.81 meters per square second, with 2.263 kilograms, what gives us, at the end, the force of 22 Newton. We know the length of it, of the whole arm, and so at the end we end up with 4.55 Newton meter. That's our calculation, how much we should pull with that weight we add on there. Now, <coughs> we now set our torque wrench to that value, to 4.55. And then it should click when we get that weight on. If we set it to more, like to 4.6, it should not click. If we set it lower, it will always click. But so you can change then the value here. I'm going to set this here. And don't forget a Newton meter. Um, we set this value. We hang the weight on. If it clicks, good. If we tighten the torque wrench tighter, increase the value in there, it should stop clicking at one point. And then we know exactly where the point is where it doesn't click anymore. So the value where it clicks is the one we measured. And I have to say this one here I bought from Amazon. 
and it's very good so this value really matches nicely so let me get the hammer here you could also use a string you don't have to use a hook so I use this hook there you feel it when it clicks, so this is a little moving here. There it clicks. So you could now tighten it up a little, the wrench itself, and then it should stop doing this, this clicking. But you will find out it's really accurate, this method. Um, it's uh, accurate for most of places on Earth. You can change the 9.81 where you multiply there, if you live on the pole, on the North Pole, to a different number. 